Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. My name is April Newly Me if you are new, but if you're one of my subbies, hey to bestie. Full disclosure, it is summertime. There are like 15,000 children right outside my window because I live next to a pool. So you will hear them. I have the air on, I have the fan on because I'm in California and it's like 200 degrees. But anyway, I just wanted to come on here to let you know, um, I'm probably gonna put in the title, but we're doing an Amazon haul today. Plus I'm gonna give you some like life updates and also the direction of where the channel is kind gonna kind of evolve maybe into. It's a lot going on. Y'all know if y'all are new here, I'm sorry. I'm kind of always all over the place. If you're my besties, you already know, you know the vibes. You know it's about to be a goofy video. But anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this box and jump into the tea that I'm about to spill. Um, on Instagram, I asked y'all to give me some questions so I was gonna do a Q&A. I love how like Instagrammers and influencers were like, everyone asked me and I got so many questions. Y'all got like 10. I got like 10 questions, but shout out to y'all on Instagram, the 10 of y'all that sent me questions. Also shout out to the homegirls, my three besties. Like when I mean best homegirls, my homegirl Tracy, who I've known since I was a child. My homegirl Miranda, who like always supports me regardless. And my homegirl Allison. Allison is like a ride or die. Like if, if no one else like click a post or respond to some Allison gonna be like girl I got you that's my boo but anyway shout out to y'all and I'm going to answer the ones that I haven't gotten before while we're unboxing my Amazon stuff that I just randomly ordered I don't even remember half the stuff I did order we're gonna answer the questions y'all know I write everything down the first question was or the one I got I got this one more than once is are you still moving Girl, yes. When I mean I'm ready to get out, I am ready to get out. For those of you that have been on my channel with me riding for the longest, I started off my channel, I was in an actual house uh, here in California. We uprooted and moved to Colorado, had an apartment, which I hated with a passion. We moved back to California We've been here for about three years now. Yeah, this year will be three years. And we've been in an apartment saving up and getting our situation in order to get a house. I don't know if you know, but it's like the average cost of a house in Los Angeles is about 900K. Not even joking, you can Google that. I'll probably put it somewhere in the corner. That's the average price of a house in the area that we live in. The average price is 700, between 700 uh, and 750k for an average house. We're talking two to three bedrooms, usually not even detached. So it's taking us a little, a little bit to move out because you know I'm not in the NBA. Tony is not an NFL person. Neither one of us rap professionally. So it's taking a little longer. But knock on wood, before the end of the year, we'll have something on lock. So definitely still moving because if I had to stay here. I'm gonna go to jail. So pulling out the first shirt. I love this shirt. I remember ordering this when I saw it. I was like, she looked like me. It's just a t-shirt that says melanin with the queen on it. I love the pom-poms. My mom used to always do my hair like this when I was little. This was me in junior high, y'all. But anyway, for obvious reasons, you know I got this shirt. I did get it big. It's not gonna be a twin shirt. All of us ladies know what I mean when I say that. It's not meant to be a twin shirt. This is just something I wanna put on with some leggings or some jean shorts and just rock. Sometimes in the summertime, like if you're from California, Florida, Texas, you know, you don't want things hugging you. You know, it's already sticky and hot. You don't wanna be bothered. But anyway, so we got the Are You Moving. This was the interesting one. Do you receive any hate online and how do you deal with it? Now, if that ain't a loaded question, those of you that follow me on social media know I'm 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 clapback queen. Like I know Michelle was like, when they go low, go higher, I'm going the lowest I can go for two reasons. The first reason is 
completely the audacity and how dare you just come for me online and nine times out of ten it is something that's opinion based meaning that you want to push your opinion off on me now when it comes to youtube constructive criticism is fine constructive criticism is letting me know what i need to improve on something that you think that maybe i've done wrong in the sense of like girl use this lighting you know stuff like that Con constructive criticism something that's going to ultimately make me better or what i'm doing better that i have no problem with i'm an adult i can take that i appreciate that when you are being opinionated any kind of bigotry as far as my race or nationality or the fact that i'm a part of the lgbtq community when it comes to stuff like that i don't care and i'm going to put you in your place swiftly and professional like sometimes unprofessional like because if you want that energy i'll match it you know some people are like i don't match energy i Something match i pulled out are just some basic jean shorts i do not like this color though these might be going back but just some regular schmegular jean shorts got these kind of bigs again i didn't want anything really tight on me um if you're in california you need to have like at least three four pairs of some daggone jean shorts this question was will you ever go back to work interesting question short answer no long answer if i need to definitely 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 like i just said california is i think the first or second most expensive state to live in in the United States. I am very um, blessed that my spouse makes enough to where I get to stay home. That doesn't happen a lot anywhere anymore, regardless of where you live. So that the fact that we live where we live and I, we are able to do that and still be comfortable, um, very much so a blessing. I don't know what the future holds. I possibly may have to go back to work, you know, um, certain situations. I do bring home an income. It's nowhere near my spouse's. I do, I get income from this, from YouTube. I get income from little side hustles I do. I just became, I just got my little uh, Amazon influencer thing going on. I'll be posting about that later. But I do bring home an income. It's just nowhere near to what my spouse makes. If I ever did have to go back to work as far as a nine to five job, it'll never be something where I have to go into an office. I have just come to the realization that that is just not the route for me. So anything I will do if I ever do have to go back to work would probably be an at home job, something I can do like tele telecommuting. It will never be in office. I'm just, I'm not built for it or they not built for me because it never, it never works. So I'm really excited about this purchase. It's a purse, basic black purse. If you know me, I might do, cause I haven't done a what's in my bag in a minute. That I'm gonna put that on my list. We gonna get that going for this year. Ever seen me in person? The bags that I wear are three times the size. I carry a lot of, like, look, this is my makeup bag that I put in my purse, y'all. Comparison, okay? So when I say I wear a big bag, I wear a big bag. I literally carry everything because I'm one of them people that I just rather have it than get caught without it type of situation. We are gonna be doing some traveling, but also like in the summertime when we're going to festivals, or we're gonna be outdoors. I don't wanna be toting a big purse around, it's hot. I don't understand, y'all don't understand how hot it is out here. My irritation level goes up when I'm hot. So I just try to do everything to, you know, alleviate that <laughs> my irritation for everybody else's safety. So I think carrying something that's lightweight, little, it'll force me to pare down when we do go places. Um, so I think this is really cute, basic black. I like this gold detail. Y'all know I love me some gold. But it's one of those straps that you can make shorter or longer. It could be crossbody or just wear on your shoulder. Will Tony be on any more videos? So, I honestly don't know about that. I signed up for YouTube. Tony didn't. Uh, Tony is very shy. Tony is very much an introvert. So when she is on my videos, it's usually like her making a cameo. She's usually there on the computer or reading. Sometimes I do my videos. So... That's why she'll pop up. But as far as like planning a video around Tony, probably not. Just because again, 
she didn't sign up for this she normally doesn't want to be on camera and i'm definitely not going to force that to her make her feel uncomfortable in her own home which is nine times out of ten where i film so i know y'all love tony i love tony too but she probably won't be in any planned videos but like cameos here or there especially like if we're moving girl will be doing so much so much home organization decorating she will be bound to make a cameo walk around or something but yeah and that's just that let's talk about this foot mask now i know y'all like girl foot mask when i tell you these foot masks from amazon work okay now during the crudy outbreak in the very beginning your girl was not stepping foot in any freaking nail salon i still don't step foot in places that i don't essentially need to go just because I, I just love how everybody acts like this is just all over and no one else can get sick and things like that. I'm not about that life. I'm still masked the heck up and I don't go places unnecessarily, especially places like, you know, nail salons. Although I love getting my nails and my pedicures, I'd rather do it at home than get sick. But these things right here, y'all, I'm going to put this up a little shiny barcode. But basically what you do is it comes with little bags and a solution. You put the solution in the bag, you put your foot in the bag, you seal it up, and I think it's about 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes, then you rinse the solution off your feet, and then within a couple of days, everything on the bottom of your feet will start to peel. Now, I am the type of person, I get calluses, is that what it's called, calluses, a lot. So they'd have to go to work on my feet, child. When I used to go to get my feet done, I used to tip them very well because they had to go to work on my feet. So I wear sandals a lot. Um, this is a household where we don't wear shoes, so I'm barefoot a lot in my house. So that builds up on the bottom of your feet. These work great, especially if you don't wanna sit there and scrub and you know peel stuff off. Super easy versus scrubbing. These were, I wanna say, 12 or 11 dollars everything i have i'll try to link i know i say that a lot and don't do it but i'm gonna do it this time i'm gonna link in the description below um but these work so good and unlike these actually last a little bit longer than a, pe a traditional pedicure like when they do the callus remover these actually last a little bit longer like these are really good and here's oh i'm i'm excited about these but let me get to another question do you receive support from your family and I think what you meant by that is support on this channel because I definitely don't get financial support as far as support on the channel yes and no my mom watches both my mommies my mommy in Memphis which is my mother-in-law and my biological mom both watch my YouTubes a few of my cousins do for the most part not a lot of my family is youtube type of people so in that sense no they just think i do stuff for social media so a lot of my friends do like i said my friend allison literally the usually the first i say first five people that watches my video every time i post it one of those people is allison that's why i actually i adore allison she's one of those supportive friends i have also miranda and tracy like half the time tracy don't even know what i'm talking about or what i'm posting about girl my homegirl will will post save like share <laughs> that's support but um as far as my family blood relatives a handful of them um as far as my friends all of them so i consider my friends my family so hope that answers your question and financially girl don't know one support me but tone so i got these I know you guys are like, what are those? Now, once I've had a time in my early 20s, I want to say 20, was it 21 or 20? I got my nose pierced and it was this side. And when I tell you, for those of you who have never gotten your nose pierced, it literally feels like someone is punching you in your face. And for me, a person that grew up fighting, I wanted to hit the lady that gave me it was a reflex because it really feels like someone is punching you in your face it, it was just i look so cute y'all but it was just horrible like you get the nose ring and they tell you the first ring you have in do not take it out for 24 hours just because they want to let you know 
everything settled. I went to sleep, I sleep on my face, woke up, chow, blood on my pillow, couldn't find the nose ring. The, cl the hole didn't close up, but it was just very tender to the touch. I had to get another nose ring. I got a super tiny one because I was like, I don't want it to hurt. Lost that one. It was just the whole ordeal. So I'm not getting my nose pierced anymore because I just, first off, it's, it'll trigger me to try to hit someone because it feels like someone's punching you. But I found these online and they're like fake nose rings. Because I'm telling y'all, look cute, y'all. I just don't want to do it again. So I think I'm going to try one on. Y'all. Can you see it? Oh my God, it's cute. I like it. I think I'm going to wear this to get to, I have to pick Tony up from the airport to see if she like, notices but i got this one who which is like as you can tell a hoop oh my god did i lose them already no okay i put them back in bed i'm good for losing jewelry um i got it the three pack with two different styles this obviously is gold there's a silver and there's also a black one and then i got the one that's like i don't know if i'm saying this correct so if you have one don't come for me i just really don't know what the name is it looks like the cow thing where like it's in the cartilage in the middle of your nose and it comes around so I'm gonna try that one on. Shut up! That one feels really uncomfortable. I feel like it would come loose, but. So now I know, and this is also really good. I feel like if you don't know how you would look or how you're worried about that and you wanna get, see how it looks beforehand before you actually make the jump and getting holes punched into you to see how they look. This would be good too. I think these were like $11. It looks cute to me, but it's really uncomfortable to wear it like this. I think I will wear it up here. And they're coming off easily if you pull them, but I don't know how to show you without messing up my little hair wrap, but they, they stay put. But I think, what do y'all, y'all like the single or the double? I think I like the double better. Now this is the loaded question, the one I saved purposely for last. And someone asked me, what direction is your channel going? Very loaded question. While we answer that, I'm gonna get the last thing out. And this is that deep olive green that I love. And it says, fun fact, I don't care. Cause I don't. But child, this is so me. It is so my color palette. I will probably wear this tomorrow. We're actually going to go look at houses tomorrow. So I will be in a great mood. <laughs> Cause I want to get out. I hate it here. Now let's get into this loaded question, which is where is the channel going? If you are new here, 90% of my content is food related. I love to cook. I'm a foodie. Originally, all I was doing was grocery hauls and cooking, which I still plan on doing. The, ho the house, the channel is supposed to be everything housewife related at the time. That's what your girl was doing nonstop, cooking, grocery shopping, cleaning. I don't show y'all a lot of cleaning just because to me, the cleaning uh, videos can get really monotonous and very boring. I might post one here or there, but that's not gonna be the main content. But anyway, what I was saying before, most of my content is food related and then haul related. It's usually either or. I do some reviews, which I dub as hauls anyway. That's not going to change however. I might be doing some vlogging. And the reason why I'm doing some vlogging is because me and my spouse have decided to start a family. And we're starting the journey to have a baby. And I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to share or whether or not I wanted this to be put out there. But I always said if I was going to do this channel, I was going to do this channel. Now, I'm not the type of person to put all my business out there, but, you know, this is something I feel like doesn't have a lot of representation. And when I say doesn't have a lot of representation, I don't see people part of my community. And that's going to be african-american as well as lgtbq plus i don't see a lot of videos or youtubers going through this that 
are in my communities. When I found out what I found out, which I'll go into detail at another time, stay tuned for that. There wasn't anyone that looked like me or that was in the communities that I was in. And when it comes to health, it very much so is related. So that was, I mean, it wasn't disheartening because like, of course I never want anyone to have to deal with what I'm dealing with. A lot of women do deal with it. It just, it, I felt like it was an underrepresented area. If I was, I just felt like if somebody like me is searching for it, I could be that person to like, I'm going through it too, sis, we should talk. In the coming future, I'm gonna try to get my life, you know, now, it's June, I'm gonna try to get my life. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it this month. But coming up, there will always be one grocery haul, my monthly grocery haul, my meals of the week, dedicated cook with me videos. I'm always going to do my hauls, which will be the brown sugar box. And I think I'm gonna combine that with my Grove. And then I'm gonna do a vlog for the month. And because I'm going through it, we will be talking about starting a family Hopefully we'll be doing more showings as far as going to look at homes that we're going to move into. So it'll kind of be that content. But, but that's what's going on with April Newly Me. It's literally going to stay housewife related. I'm gonna be hoping when we move, child, when we move, it's gonna be so much organization. It's gonna be so much more decorating and things of that nature. I do not do that in the present day just because I cannot organize this apartment because we had a three bedroom house and we moved all of that into a two bedroom apartment. So there's stuff literally everywhere. I am the type of person, I don't wanna buy anything for this place that I, that I don't wanna be, if that makes sense. I'm not gonna buy organizational things based on somewhere that I know is temporary. That is all, we have opened up all the packages, some little goodies I got from Amazon, I've answered all the questions. I appreciate y'all if you are still tuning in and listening to me ramble. Thank you so much. Um, I honestly didn't know how to turn back on the subscriber count, but as you can see, we are almost at 2,000 besties, y'all. I truly appreciate y'all rocking with me thus far on this long YouTube journey. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.